Jesus! Hello, everyone. Welcome back. My name is Kyle. I make reactions to movies and TV shows. Here we are. The pending final reaction. I say pending. I'll explain that in a second. To the Halloween franchise for myself. Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. Ah. So I say pending because if this movie is able to like totally knock my socks off, I'll continue. But that's a big, like there's a giant asterisk next to that, which is that I have a lot of movies on my plate that I want to react to. So when I'm saying that I can will continue, if I'm like, we'll see by the end of this movie, um, it's going to be months from now, guys. Like, I mean, it was months ago that I did Halloween 4. So, you, you know, if you're a longtime viewer of this channel, you know that when I say that I'm going to do something in the future, I really do mean the future. <laughs> But this is going to be like a whole bunch of sequels that are coming out. We got Halloween 5, which is this one. We got Back to the Future 3. We got Alien Resurrection. So last time we left off with Halloween 4, Michael Myers was in the ground presumed dead. Like that hasn't happened before. But he's he's maybe dead. He I don't believe he's dead. This is the revenge of Michael Myers. Jamie had gone full psycho killer. I don't know where they're going to take that storyline. That is what surprised me the most in Halloween 4. It was very exciting. I liked the movie in general, but that end where Jamie ended up being like not only related to Michael, but um like I don't know, influenced or possessed by him or maybe like psychosis runs in the family. Not sure. Awesome though. Um, Rachel, she was there. She didn't have as big a part as I thought she was going to have, but she was there. I'm just excited to see where the heck Jamie's going to go with this. And of course we have our, as always, Dr. Loomis. I want to see how crazy he's going to be. What's he going to be up to? Is he going to beat anyone up? Is how many people is he going to point a gun at? I just, I need a good monologue from him at some point in this movie. Like if you want to like, full version is in the description. And let's get to some killing people. Donald Pleasance in Halloween 5. I don't know what that was. That was my attempt at a trailer voice. We get to see who directed this one. Someone slashing someone? Practicing their knife kung fu? I remember in the first one, not the first one, the fourth one, the last one, um, the uh, the intro sequence felt like very good. I really liked the intro in the fourth one. John Carpenter! If they're carving a pumpkin, I don't think this park is gonna like be anything. There's that, there's that theme. Oh, oh, we're, oh, we're starting off from the last movie. So it's kind of like Halloween 1 into Halloween 2, where it's like the same night. You know, I saw some comments in the last reaction that said people didn't like the Halloween 4 mask, but I liked it. I thought because it was so inhuman and so unrealistic that it was pretty creepy. Wait, did they not like dig his body up? They just left him in the ground and presumed he was dead? Oh, wow. Lazy River Michael. I'm a big fan of The Expanse. And just a couple of days ago, I was watching a podcast. Um, it's called Ty and That Guy. It's um, by the one of the writers of The Expanse. And also, I think his name, correct me if I'm wrong, is Wes Chadwick, who's in the uh, series. And they were talking about Michael Myers. And they did like a whole character exploration of him. Totally recommend it. Hello. 
<laughs> oh. Well, didn't you get lucky? One year later. Children's Clinic, Haddonfield, Illinois. Nothing good happens in these hospitals. She hooked no. up to like an EEG. Why? No. Looks like a night terror. Her mom is still alive? She didn't kill her? I'm confuddled. What is that tattoo? Has he always had that tattoo? Oh my god! Dude is not wearing his mask. No! No! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! This innkeeper whole kinds of crazy. Why would you keep this man around? Why would you not turn him over to the police or at least tell someone? Bring him to a hospital! Drugs! Give her some drugs! She's gonna die? Leave her! This girl is dying! I have to open a trachea for God's sake! What the fuck are these doctors? There are many things you can do before a tracheotomy! Like, intubate the poor girl first! I see you still want this girl dead. She has something to tell us. Did she or did she not kill her mother? Was it like an attempted murder? Yeah. Oh, she can't talk. Hey! Hey, open up! Oh, screw their rules. Hello, Max. You know what they can do if they can't take a job? Give me some of this action, baby. What? Oh. It's a nice happy moment. Billy is going to have Billy to a lot of boys. Come on, Matt. Here. Oh, that was a happy moment. Mom and Dad send their love. Okay, Mama is very much still alive. The fudge was that? Someone throw a brick? Oh, it is a brick. This is a kid. Realize that she is not him. She's just a child. They know that Michael Myers is her uncle. I'm worried about Jamie. So stick around. I already promised my parents. Promises were made to be broken, babe. We'll be back with the outfits. See you, Tina. I Max. like Tina. She seems fun. Max, what is it? Come on, Max. Oh, come on. What are you gonna do, Michael? Don't kill the dog. Don't hurt Max. So she's got like a psychic connection to Michael. Run away, Max. Run away. Jamie. <laughs> Max. All right. I feel bad for Jamie. Hold on a minute. Good. She. The actress is very good at like portraying. Fear. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I was just in the shower. Max? Is Max all right? Maybe he just let him out? Rachel? At least someone's with Jamie so they know it wasn't her, but Rachel? Rachel? Ah! Rachel? Drop the phone. Go to the nearest door. Get out of the house. Quickly, now. Go on. Yes. Drop the phone. Run. Oh, okay. I think she's okay. This is definitely going to be a very interesting ring on the doorbell, but oh, okay. 
All clear. Nothing above, nothing below. <laughs> the fudge was that soundtrack. Max, what have you done? Well, he found I'm a squirrel. So it's what we're here for. What is that? What is that soundtrack? Jamie, are you okay? Come on. Tell me what you know. You're right, right, right. Loomis, back off, okay? Jamie, please. She's clearly very upset. Well, clearly the police deserved this soundtrack if they swept the house and didn't find him. I don't know how the hell she couldn't have seen him. I don't think Max is getting away a second time. Why do they always gotta hurt the doggies? If you're scared, at least grab a weapon. At least grab something! Like, I understand why she wouldn't want to call the police back again, because she might feel stupid doing that, but... We don't investigate strange noises without weapons. Especially when we find something like that. No! She was shaking! Her whole body was shaking! You never saw that... Nothing, no expression. Look at this. Look at that. I prayed that he would burn in hell. I'm totally Tina. I'll get you water in a second. Even though she's about to find something pretty gruesome. Maybe Rachel isn't dead. Right? Maybe? Probably. Rachel! <laughs> Michael likes to hide the bodies. She might not find her. Yeah. Oh, he took the picture. <gasps> Jesus Christ, girl! What's wrong with you? But I guess she decided to go up to the country with her parents. Oh, no! Oh God, they don't even know she's dead. Like she's just gonna be hanging around in this house. All movie. See, this is why you should trust your instincts. If someone's, if something's, if like, if you're like, you know, something is wrong, just go with it. Uh, oh God, he's right about? there. He's right there. I've just been in a weird right? mood all day. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. He's got butter knife. He got the butcher knife. Is he coming for Jamie? Oh my god, they're not gonna kill a kid, right? No, Jamie... No. She she is far too scared for them to kill her. That's just cruel. Girl can't even scream. Very reminiscent of Halloween 2. When Jamie was, not Jamie, well, yeah, Jamie, um, Lori was running through the basement, and then also when Michael was behind the curtain in the one room. Oh, maybe it's not Michael. It's all right. Yeah, it's not Michael. We've been looking all over for you. Come to me, baby. Come on. We both know he's alive, but you know where he is. Dude, you need to back the fudge down. You can't hide from him. It always get to you. Like, I know we all know that Loomis is intense, but like. What do you think he's going to do with that? Loomis, my dude, Loomis. You're nine years old. Aren't you, Jamie? Help me to find him. We'll find him together! I understand that Loomis is just, like, trying to protect her, but I also think that this is bordering on obsession. Well, let's see, we're gonna go to Bloomington, Redfield, Evanston, and then our final destination. 
fuck is wrong with you? Who is this, by the way? Oh dear, whose house is this? Am I supposed to know whose house this is? This is from a past movie and I'm not clicking. Have you come home, Michael? Home? This didn't look like the original house from the first movie. Wasn't it white? What the hell is this dude? Also, can I just say, a little bit of paint, new floors, this house would be amazing. What's this tattoo? What's this tattoo mean? What the hell is that? A giant rat? Oh, it's a possum. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Loomis, you crazy. You one crazy ass motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> uh. Alright, that's it. Now go, go, go. Well. What? Bye bye, Mikey. Trick or trick? Oh. Nope. Oh, wow. That is. Three, two, one. Can you hear me out there? These are for you. Oh. She has a friend. It, it's good luck. I really hope they don't kill Jamie. Pretty sure Rachel's already a foregone conclusion at this point. Seriously, who is this? Tito, queen of room service. <laughs> Michael, open the door. Bye. Thank you for being such a gentleman. So this has to be Michael, right? Or is the guy stalking Michael, did he take his mask or car? I want you to know, I just love barbaric men. I don't think that's Michael. Michael, don't I even get a kiss? <laughs> Can you see his eyes? Oh, I like, can't resist your new look. Jamie, come on. It feels creepy. Yes, very. Get out the car. Jamie! Oh, so it was Michael. Who? I, I have questions. They're setting something up. The old silent treatment, huh, Mike? What'd I do wrong this time, huh? A little weird seeing Michael in a mask that is not Michael Myers. Stop here, I want to pack a cigarette. I said stop the goddamn car! This is incredibly out of character for Michael. Jamie, Tina, is she in danger? Where is she? No. Get Meeker on the line. Sergeant Meeker, what's your 20? No! What? Jamie, what? <laughs> Girl, just don't get back in the car. Please? Listen to every instinct in your body telling you no! Tina Williams, if you are Tina Williams, stay where you are. Oh. About the... Say something about your boyfriend. Say something about the boyfriend. Say something, say something. Say something. Come on, girl, come on. Uh. Tina. Where's Jamie? Is something wrong? Say it again. Ina? I love it. Oh, she's got her voice. But he was with you. Who? The boogeyman. Ina, no! Honey, I will come back later tonight and I will sleep with you right here. You. Oh god, she said it twice. Girl, you're gonna die. Ina! Crap. 
I believe that you're in danger. <laughs> I'm never sensible if I can help it. That's the most realistic conversation someone's had with Dr. Loomis the whole movie, but I mean, he is real. He is correct. Follow her then. At least you can do that. If that girl dies tonight. At least he's earned the respect of the police. Finally, five movies in and they finally listen to him. What the hell are you doing? Someone give him some drugs. <laughs> you don't even know where she is. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Oh, I'm staying here. What do you think? I look like a life threatening situation to you? Nah. <laughs> virgin got her phone number oh dear god these people are insane somebody please let me dead right now fortunately we're lousy cops uh, <laughs> sorry oh dear now the real michael's gonna show up and they're gonna think it's this blonde dude and it's just gonna be bad 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 badness They're a little bit annoying, but I mean, this is teenagers. This is not unexpected. Kitten. Kitten, I hear you, but I don't see you. I don't think it's the cat anymore. Whoa! Jesus, fuck! Okay. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! What is wrong with you? Have fun! Okay, cool! <laughs> Who is who? <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's him. Spit. If you got heels on, use them now. With the shovel, I would hit him with a shovel. <laughs> well, at least the movie is promoting safe sex. Hey, movie. No manicure on earth gonna help you. Oh, both at the same time, huh? Oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh my god. Well, Well, sort of a well, she tried. It sounded different. Yeah. Hey, come on. Enough's enough, all right? Hey, somebody can get hurt with that thing. Hey, somebody's going to get hurt with that thing. <clears throat> You're about to get hurt with that thing, I'm thinking. Hurry, come on. Are the police officers dead? Sam. You got. You guys, I don't hear any noise. 
Are you sure you're doing it right? You're just a poster child for ignoring your instincts. Gonna find the head. <gasps> oh! Oh, yeah, they're gone. They're very dead. Move. Move. To the left, to the right. But not straight. Zigzag, girl! Zigzag! Poor Billy. He's just like, I just came along for the run. I wasn't prepared for this. Oh my God. No! Okay. Okay. Billy, Billy got some sense. He, he moved to the right. For the love of God, don't stop running now! Come on. Get up! Get up! <laughs> Dr. Loomis? Someone? Dr. Loomis? You're usually around the corner at this kind of moment. Oh, okay. Tina for the win. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, it's Dr. Loomis. Okay. She dead. I think she's dead. Tina! Can you kill him? No. <laughs> I think so. Now wait a minute, little miss. There isn't a minute to wait. Michael. He's there. It will destroy you too. This rage. You think if you kill them all, it will go away? It won't. If you want to get rid of this rage, Michael, go home. Go home! You'll find her waiting for you. That is not the original house. It's a nice house. I'm just saying it's not the original house. They are using a child as bait without any kind of contact with her gardens, guardians. I... It, <laughs> well, at least if Jamie survives, she could be able to sue the hospital and the police department and just live pretty for the rest of her life. Looks like you and me are the only ones around here keeping her cool. You're one brave little girl. Oh no. No, it's, no, no now is not the time. B Billy? What about Billy? B Billy! Dr. Loomis! Billy! Is Michael going after Billy? We just had a distress call from the clinic. They haven't been able to reach them again. All mobile units, proceed immediately to the Madison Clinic. What was that? Was that? Someone correct me. Did they redub that? I don't think those are the words that came out of the deputy's mouth. At least they got a lot of manpower. Has anyone thought about calling the National Guard? Because, you know, I think you might need them for him. Like, just a thought. Now you'll come. Won't you, Michael? You've done your night's work. Come on, my pal Eddie, and I'll give you a ride to the station. They all left without taking her? I thought they were setting up a final confrontation Dr. between Loomis. Michael and Loomis, but... 
Um, what the hell are you doing? We aren't taking her anywhere. There's a car approaching. I'll check it out. Well, Eddie is dead. Eddie, can you read me? Okay, unholster your weapon. Put her in a corner and put her behind you. Eddie, come in. Like. Bitch. Charlie. Well, there it is. He threatened a sheriff. Michael Myers is outside. Seriously, dude, pull out your gun and put this girl behind you. You, you've come back to us, Michael. Does he know he's behind him? He just leading him away? The little girl can stop the rage inside. Don't. She can s stop the rage. For the love of God, just shoot him in the head. Down here in the middle of the old house. Let me, let me take you. Loomis, you have officially gone cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. No, don't do it. He goes stab you. He goes stab you. All right, all right. Well, bye, Mike. Yep, bye, Loomis. Shotgun, time for the shotgun. Nope, nope, okay. Run, run, Jamie. Oh my god, that is... That's a lot. Oh my god. Oh, thank god. <laughs> that was Billy. <sighs> If you can fit, go for it, girl. Although I think Dr. Loomis like closed up the bottom portion, so you might have to kick your way out, but still. Okay, let go, let go, let go, let go! Seriously, let go. Dr. Loomis? There's no way she's climbing up that. Is he going to be able to stab through it? Oh. oh god, she is actually climbing up it! Shrine. Is Rachel gonna be up here? Oh, 
Oh god, her picture is on some kind of... Is that a coffin? Oh, that's right, he said he's took... Next! It took a nine-year-old girl. Oh my god. That is pretty morbid. Oh god, girl! You getting in the coffin? Ooh. Good music choice. Uncle! Boogeyman. Let me see. I think this is the most human Michael Myers we've ever gotten. Let me. This dude is crying. Who is this? Still kicking. This guy is indestructible. He's as indestructible as Michael. Here she is. Let us. Lumis! Lumis! I am praying that he's just luring him right now. Catch the little girl. Catch. Mike. Tranquilizer? Really, Lumis? Tranquilizer? Cut his fucking head off! Lumis is working through some stuff here. Wait, is Lumis dead now too? National Guard will take him to a maximum security facility. National Guard for the win! Okay! Jesus Christ! They finally call him! Never die. I right, take him back to the clinic. Yeah, who is this guy? I forgot about this dude. Wait in the car. Yes, just just leave the child alone. Uh, girl, hotwire this car and just take off. It wouldn't surprise me if Michael has gained some, like, cult followers over the past five movies, right? Like, maybe this dude in the boots is his acolyte? That is such a good place to end it, but why? All right, I guess I have to look up. Did did the next movie wrap anything up? I gotta know. Okay, let's look this up. Okay, and that was my reaction to Halloween Five: The Revenge of Michael Myers. And once again, I really loved it. So I did look it up because um, I was like, well, do I have to keep going now? Because they're setting up such a great mystery, and. It looks like the girl that plays Jamie is not in Halloween 6, or I th it's called The Curse of Michael Myers. I'm not sure if that's correct. Um, so I'm wondering if they just dropped this, because to my knowledge, and I don't want to look it up too much because I don't want to enter spoiler territory, but to my knowledge, the next set of movies in the Michael Myers thing universe are not, like, connected to the this iteration. So I'm not sure. I don't know. And also... I was kind of thinking that maybe this is a good place to stop. Like I said that in 
the beginning of the reaction, if I really, really liked this reaction, which by the way, I really, really liked this move reaction, this movie, um, I would keep going. But then I also kind of thought, no, maybe this is a good place to stop. Don't wait until you find the movie that you don't like to keep going. Know when to quit. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Does this storyline continue in the next movie? Because then maybe I will have to. But at the same point, I don't know. Because I think, here's my opinion. The girl that played Jamie made this whole freaking movie. Like, this whole movie. One, they got rid of Rachel much faster than I thought they would. Like, she was gone, like, the first five minutes of the movie. She just gone. Rachel, be gone. Right? And then they kind of just focused on Jamie. And that was not something I was expecting. I was like, well, who the heck are they going to follow? Well, I shouldn't say that. They didn't just focus on Jamie. They also focused on Tina. Very surprising that they focused on Tina so much for them to just kill Tina at the end, but I still liked it. And you know what, Tina? She was a likable character. Like, I really liked her. She was a little bit loony, a little bit crazy, but I related to the girl. I liked her. And... I don't know. I just, like I said, the whole movie stolen by the girl that played Jamie. I loved the decision to take away her voice in the beginning because it just added a lot more depth to the character that all of a sudden she's not just connected to Michael, but she's like, she's in this hospital and she can't talk, but she seems to be having visions of what Michael is seeing. Really, really liked that. And then when she finally does get out of the hospital and there's like that chase scene between the barn and the forest. And then when she's at the house, it was just, it was so good. I really liked it. I think that that final scene where Jamie is in the house and she's running away from Michael, I think that really made the movie. It was just like the atmosphere, the setting. Now I can see this being polarizing for some people though, too, because Michael in this movie was particularly human. The first time I noticed that something was weird was when he wore the mask that was not the Michael Myers mask in Mike's car when he was talking to Tina. I was like, this is very unusual to see Michael not wearing his mask to just wear some random mask because I feel like the mask is very personal to Michael. But yeah, it's just, I was like, this is weird. And then how he acted when he was like with Tina, not just like him um, wearing the different mask, but you know, he was driving the car. He was just acting very un-Michael Meyer-ish, much more like average, typical messed up serial killer-ish, which I was like, okay, I can live with this. I can, I can go with it. It's a bit out of character, but I can go with it. But then when they really hit home at the end with him like taking off his mask and somehow empathizing with this little girl and like shedding a tear. I personally liked it. I liked that they took that direction with this Michael Myers, but I can see a lot of people being like, no, Michael is supposed to be some heartless black void killing machine person. He's not supposed to feel emotions. Um, Loomis in this iteration good character development. His character went in a strange place. <laughs> because, like, I understand that, yeah, after five episodes, five episodes, five movies, Loomis is probably not in a great headspace. Michael continues to get away from him. And I think that Loomis had some kind of very strange, like, son father relationship with Michael by this point in the franchise. Like, I think that Loomis wants Michael dead, but he also wants to protect him. And I don't know. Like, there was one point where Loomis had a clear opportunity to kill Michael. He's literally standing two feet in front of him with a loaded gun. Like, could have killed him. Chose not to. Waited till the end to actually kill him. Or at least try to kill him. But yeah, Loomis was just, he was off the rails crazy in this one. I mean, like, dude had lost his bolts. Nuts. But still loved him. And I mean, can you blame him? The dude has been through a lot. And Michael just keeps getting away. And I, I think I think Loomis died at the end of this. Like, we're, it's not really, you know, shown if he died or if maybe he just passed out. But dude passed out on top of Michael and his eyes were still open. And usually when you pass out with your eyes still open, you're dead. They were setting something up. 
if the next movie is not a continuation of this movie, I need to know what happened. Because they were setting something up. Jamie survives. Michael is free. And we have this mysterious character who's wearing like these steel-toed boots that's just going around doing something for Michael. Don't know who he is. So like, I really felt like they were setting up a mystery in this movie. They did a really good job at it. And if the next one is not a continuation of this, then I just need to know what happened. Why did they not continue it? Um, but yeah, overall... Wonderful movie. Absolutely loved it. And I think this is a good place to stop, you guys. I think this is a good place to stop. If only more movie franchises and TV shows would say to themselves, we've hit a high note, let's go out with a bang, right? All right. Anyways, like if you want to like, full version is in the description. And I hope I will see you guys next time. Even though I might be done with Halloween, I hope I will see you next time. Bye.